Hey, it's Dan again, Little White Bulls. PGA Pro down at the beautiful Hawke's Bay Golf Club. It's had a fair bit of rain in the last week. But here we are. It's a stunning day, as you can see. I'm actually in a jersey because it's cold. Well, it is the middle of winter. But it occurred to me that when people swing easier, or people that I'm teaching swing easier, they hit it better. So why not take that to the course? Let's make today everything about the swing being the easiest thing you can do on the course, that is. Well, yeah, here we are. Out of that lie, I'll take it. It's about pin eye, and it's okay. But we've got a putt for birdie, and that's all that matters. The easiest swings ever. See if we can do it with a putting, too. Okay, just outside right. I'll take it. <laughs> Easy part. A couple of things I want to teach you about that, about swinging it easy. It's just not quite as easy as it sounds. So, <clears throat> the one thing is we have to set ourselves in a place of calm. Now, I might mind saying, but woo woo and all that sort of shit, but it's not really. Stand over the ball, and our only goal is to swing it easy. So even when you hit one, not great, well, in this case, not swing it that great, my goal was to swing it easy, and we did. It wasn't the easiest I could swing it, but the result from that, yeah, it might be too long, all of that sort of stuff, but it's accurate, and I hit it okay. And that's what we're all about. When we get up to the next one, I just want you to talk about how we finish this one. Having said all that, it's found its way a fair way down the fairway, which for an old bugger like me is pretty good, especially when it's in the middle like that. It's not left. Did what I wanted it to do. Sexy beast. Check out the scenery. So gorgeous out here at the moment. It's a real privilege to be playing golf. Okay, so the thing I want to chat to you about is it's all very well saying swing it easy, yeah, but what happens at the end? There's a bit of a checkpoint I want you to go through. You know, we can swing it easy and fall over and do all that sort of stuff, still going to be a bad shot. But, if we swing it easy, hold the follow through like anything else, three couples, whomever, it's a bit of a checkpoint as to how well you stay in balance. And that's going to make it all the easier to hit great shots. So, we're going to swing it easy, going to hold our finish.
Okay. So there we go. Just up on the front. Probably, you know, it's five shorter where it needs to be. But, you know what? I'm on the green. Putting for birdie. Life is pretty good. Same with the putt. Just cozy it up. Get it up there. Probably not going to do a whole heap. Maybe at the end it's going to turn a little left. Easy as you like. Well, a little more than I thought. Another easy part. Swing and ease. So we're still going to take notice of all the you know the shots we want to create and all that sort of stuff. But you know, when was the last time you'd missed one? 1987? Who knows? You know. Let's focus only on taking it smooth, holding the finish, and some great shots. So so we've got about 115 meters, I suppose, slightly under the breeze. So, tiny, tiny little nine iron. Swinging it smooth, holding the finish. Swinging it smooth, holding the finish. Needs to go. Hey. Too much easy, too much left. Icky, icky bunkers. There's the thing about swinging easy, you still have to commit. You don't give up like I did on the tee. Now we find ourselves in trouble, which is not good. So, yes, I want to swing easy. Yes, I want to hold my finish. But I want to commit to the shot, speed through impact, all right? Subtle speed. Wait. That's nice, I like that one. Subtle speed. <clears throat> Still not totally committed to that bunk shot. Mind you, I haven't hit a bunk shot in ages, so that probably explains it. Anyway. It's drive time. Easiest swing you can do, or easiest thing you can do on the course. Holding the finish. Are we totally committed? Are we? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so here we are. We found the tree. I thought I might have hit that branch anyway. Don't matter. We've got a, I don't know, 160 metres or something like that out of the rough. Gonna swing, swing easy again, of course. I'm gonna make the course, the course, because it is, makes no sense. Anyway, but I'm gonna make this little area around the ball, my smooth zone. So anytime I'm in there, I'm smooth. Anytime. I'm out of it, not smooth. In it, smooth. Yes, all right, let's hit the shot. I'm in the smooth zone. In the smooth zone. Could be a little short, but not bad. Smooth zone. Out of the smooth zone. So, there's three things when playing this sort of uh, technique, if you will. Make the swing the easiest thing on the course. Well, the easiest thing you do on the course. Not walking, 
not drinking or doing anything like that. Hold your finish. It'll keep your balance. You won't be able to hold your finish if you don't keep your balance. Easy. And the third thing is, have a smooth zone. If you've got a smooth zone, anything else can be as rough as gut. But inside that smooth zone, you are Ernie Els. Alrighty, and there we are. Just short, which is pretty good. Mitch Mark. There it is. Or it could be one of those, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, there we are. There's the flag. We are going to pitch up there, being smooth, having a held finish, and being in the smooth zone. Okay, crackle crackle goes the... Now, I thought about doing a pitch, but I've got a lot of green, so I'm not going to pitch it. I'm going to chip and run it up that hill. Okay. Smooth as silk held in the finish. This is the smooth zone. This is not the smooth zone. Smooth zone. Okay. Go. Get up. Go in. Go in. The smooth zone. Well, it's the first time I chipped in a couple of months. Probably the right shot. Probably the right smooth zone. All smooth. And it smoothly went in there. Yay for me. Okay, so this is the last hole I'll play today. The sixth hole. Let's make it the smoothest of all holes. Outside the smooth zone. Rough as guts. Inside the smooth zone. Everything in here is smooth. Hammered it. Outside the smooth zone, rough, rough, rough guts, rough, rough. Doesn't take much. It's a couple of simple wee thoughts. You know, take it easy, swing smooth, hold your finish, and do it all inside a little box. Pretty simple, really. You can do that. I can do it. Christ, if I can do it, anybody can. So, Let's give it a nudge. Let's give that work we're doing on the range, take it to the course, doing it smooth like. So, cold wintry conditions, into the breeze, sun setting, all that sort of gobbledygook. And there we are, right in the middle. Just swinging smooth, having a little smooth zone. Holding the finish. Loving it. Okay. Pins at the back's a little choppy 9 on. In there, commit this time. fighter safe as houses that cools that little sunset going on touch of orange hitting the green there it's about to go away very cool but Jesus it's got cold though okay there it is coming up there a wee fade with that 9-9, nine -nine. it's a lot of weird down slip I suppose, but nothing serious, 20 feet for bird, Let's see if we can put it in. Okay, bit of a swinger, 
pretty flat near the hole. So I'm going to cut my feet outside right, swing her in there. Remember, this is smooth too. Outside my smooth zone. Walking into my smooth zone. In the smooth zone. Thank you everybody much. Thank you everybody much. Thank you very much everybody for watching. This has been Dan and the Smooth Zone for Little White Balls. I'll see you next time. Thank you. If you could subscribe, I'd be most grateful. Thanks guys. See you later.